Hey, Colors, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here, and I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be the first of hopefully many map guides, starting off with, of course, D-Day here, one of the hardest maps that people seem to have trouble with attacking, and so we're going to start off real quick with it. Now, your first squad is always really important when you're attacking. You can always bring a tank here. You can see I have the Firefly equipped. You can always bring a tank um, on the first objective here on D-Day because you can just use it to blast he shells into the bunkers and even if you get taken out you can do so much damage with it and wipe out a lot of squads but we're not going to be doing that here we're going to be starting off um, as infantry and if we take a look here there are three different objectives that um, are possible for the first objective here on d-day there's the one that we've got here in the front there's one in the back here and of course there is one on this left flank here which means this right flank is typically speaking pretty open for you to move along yes you can get mowed down by some mgs but if you move quickly and you get in the game at the very beginning you can pretty easily just coast your way along into this trench line and what i like to do and this is a very cheeky thing that you can do and we'll talk about some other stuff you can do but this is a good spot you can plop a rally point down back here um, if you have the first objective or if you're feeling particularly um cheeky you can come to this and you see this kind of cracked wall section here you can toss an explosive pack out it does have to be an explosive pack or tank can do it as well and you can actually blow these up and then you can move on through just like this and then now that you're in this little area here make sure you kind of uh hug this area here if if the objective is in the back here if it's in this little area this uh this will be a lot more open for you but you can just plop a rally point down back here and you will have an amazing flanking uh rally point right you can just plop it down build it up and then your team can just go ahead and roll on right behind the enemies if you've got the back objective here if you've got this objective right here you can just walk in right there's no one stopping you like there there might be some enemies moving down this way that just spawned but otherwise you've got a great opportunity to just kind of flank the entire enemy team you can roll up this way maybe climb in through here if you want clear this bunker out um, or if you're feeling lucky you can just run right in flank through there and the enemy is just not going to be expecting you coming in from their side there, there's not going to be anyone watching this and you could pretty easily just uh walk right in like this hey man what's up and then just clear out all of the enemies they're really just not going to even know what's happening you can even just toss a grenade right if you just toss like cook a grenade toss it right in the middle here and you're going to be able to clear out a lot of enemies look there's actually a guy back here kind of funny but that's an ai so the other uh, thing that you can do, I'm going to tell my AI to cap that really quickly. And this is something that used to work really well in closed beta. And this was kind of my go-to tactic. That's not quite as effective now. Um, but if you've managed to take out all of these MGs here, or at least the front-facing and the right-facing one, or left-facing one, I guess, for us, is that you can manage to kind of sneak your way up along this, or maybe just even really cheeky sneak up this way. Watch out for this bunker. This is a big bunker to take down, too. Um, if you can manage to get up here... Can actually climb up this and just very quickly drop down and there's not going to be anyone in here and you're on the objective you have great cover you can just easily take out tons of enemies just toss a grenade in here and just wipe out everyone on the objective very very easily and that's typically what i like to do on this objective if it is the first one here i was uh not really paying attention there hello friend but that's kind of what you want to do for at least these first couple objectives. The name of the game is flanking. Don't just run head on into MGs. Um, consider also picking up a sniper, you know, knocking out these MG42s. You can always just shoot these down if you have a sniper. Spraying down to the BAR also works, or Bren if you haven't unlocked the BAR. Whatever works, guys, just don't run head first into all of these MGs because all it's going to do is get you killed. Definitely not something that you want to do. Now, for these next couple objectives, there's two that it could be. It could be this one on the left and this one on the right in the town. The one on the right is much harder to attack. Typically speaking, what you're going to want to do is knock out all of these MGs here, um, either with a tank. If your team's got it, just keep enemies off those MGs. Break them if you can. And then you could use this hill as cover. Um, if the enemies are up here, you're going to get mowed down, and this is not going to work. But if, you're, if your team's able to hold over there, then you might be able to just quickly run up here and get over into this building here this is your goal is this building right here if you can get in and take this building have my eye cap this point if you can take this building you are going to be in a great position to clear the objective out because as you can see here you can see very easily into the objective and you can see everyone who's going to be running into the objective from this way and you'll just again be in great shape to clear the point out now the other way to do this 
is coming up on this right flank. If the enemy is not locking down this hill up here, then you're going to be able to come right up from this gate and just use this kind of natural hills and, and ridges and, and cover to come right along here, um, either along this path or maybe even climb up there if you want. But really your goal is to get into this trench line and then I don't have a grenade on this guy, but uh, you would throw a grenade over the top here, maybe take some shots. And then when the grenade goes off, go ahead and run in here. If you need the cover, you can always kind of duck in here, clear anyone off, right? And then, you know, take some shots in here. Maybe let your team capture while you cover them, or maybe you can get your AI to capture while you cover them, so on and so forth. There's a lot of options, but this building here is really your goal because it gives you tons of cover um, from the objective while still being on the objective. Now, for the other objective here on the left, um, it's a little bit more rough to capture um, than other objectives. Eh, it's, it's easier than the uh, the one that we just captured there, but really your big th thing is you're going to be running along this trench line or maybe up in these hills you can also do, and you're going to want to watch out for the MGs in this next objective and the third objective here. They're going to be mowing you down while you try to get in. But if you can get one guy or maybe even two guys on this objective up through this window here is really where you want to go. Then you're going to be able to clear out the objective from good cover and this is considered on the objective and then just mow down anyone in the point it's going to be very easy and then you're going to just continue on your way so again just that building there is where you want to hold and then um, you'll be able to capture the objective very easily from inside that building now for the third objective this is always the objective you kind of have a secondary objective here of clearing this out because you clear out that bunker on the left and break those mgs and take uh, positions there then you're going to be able to easily push up along this ridge here, take out this MG42, and then you're going to have easy access into mowing down enemies, tossing grenades. Once a grenade is in, you can toss it back in that corner and then drop right here. And then the grenade will go off and you'll be able to just hold this angle as they try to get away from it and then move in, clear them out, and you'll be good to go. The other option that you have is moving in. I may I cap this. Moving in from this side over here. I like to have my AI sit in this little puddle down here to where they're pretty safe and they don't like to run off. And then you just one by one sprint up here. You're going to want to make sure that you deal with this MG42 nest right there. If that MG42 nest is up or if someone, um, if someone's on that nest and on that gun, your life is going to be much harder. But you can just kind of quickly run in here. Don't run out of ammo. That's, uh, that's always a good tip. But run up just like that and then just close this door behind you get in here you know maybe even drop an ap mine just like that but you'll be able to know if they're coming in you'll see the door open and then you can get ready and you know they're coming in and they have no idea that you're just sitting here waiting for them It'll be a pretty easy cap once you get into this objective as long as you have at least a couple soldiers you'll be able to cap it and if you're alone you know you might if you rushed it down or something like that uh, you may not be able to cap it, but you'll be able to wipe out tons of the cap time and you'll be pretty set. Now, that objective up there is a pretty decent spot for a rally point for this next objective. There are two possible objectives here that you can take. So this is a nice place to take control of, or at least make sure the enemy doesn't have control of because there are some MGs up there that can make your life hell. Uh, but what you're going to want to do, you, uh, you can't climb through these windows, unfortunately, but they can shoot out of them. But what you're going to do for this objective is you're going get, to get in this little nook here pretty easy to just run up this hill um and get into this little nook here and then you can just kind of use this line of sight blocker to just wipe out some enemies and some ai very quickly and then take control of this building just like the other two objectives it's really just about taking control of these important cover areas typically speaking enemies won't stay on this objective because they'll get bombed out so easily because it is such an open objective compared to say this bunker over here now this bunker is the hardest objective on the map to take in my opinion uh, but there are some cheeky things that you can do to get onto it so number one, you can always sneak around and break this MG42. Now this is hard because there are typically tanks here. There's enemy infantry that'll be running along, maybe in these trench lines or on these MGs. But if you can manage to find an opening, you can climb through this by going prone. And then you're going to have just an amazing way to clear out this objective very, very easily, right? You have great cover here. You can just kind of, you know, toss a grenade really quickly and then just hold this angle and no one's no one should be able to beat you coming around this corner right if you're prone you should be able to just mow down just about anyone that tries to come around that corner and then you can just clear out anyone who's still here and then once you have control you know there's so many angles that you can hold from here just like here make sure nobody's like hiding back here but you can uh ooh, that scared me geez um you can pretty easily hold this once you have it because they're going to try to run in here because most of the time the guys that you wiped out aren't the guys that are holding this objective 
And so they're going to be coming in through here. You do need to be careful that nobody, you know, flanks you by jumping down there. But hopefully your team's pushing there. And this is, of course, the other way to get into the objective. Um, just by running up this way, right? And then just hopefully being able to jump down in here. Normally, you want to preface it with a grenade. Otherwise, you'll just kind of get blown to bits. But that's not always the case. That's not always something you're uh, really able to do in the time that you have. But jumping down here is very risky. If you can get through this um, opening in the wall here or even through the back, you know, run around through the through the flank, that can be a lot better because the enemy is not going to be watching it. They're always going to be watching that giant hole in the wall. Now, for this last objective here, and guys, I just want to mention really quickly, I haven't been talking about rally points very much because rally points are pretty standard on this map other than that first one I showed you guys. Just build them within 35 meters of the objective and you'll be good. Um, rally point here or rally point here are going to be good. This is where you want to control is this area here for this objective because this objective is just a bloodbath. It is an open objective that doesn't have almost any cover on it. And so really the enemies, uh, this all this cover is going to get blown up very, very quickly. So really you just want to take control of this area um, in the back here and mow down as many as you can and just keep flooding on the objective. If you can... Take control of this little area here. You can use these barrels as cover as the enemy tries to get in. Drop some artillery and you should be good to go. Now, for the windmill, uh, it's pretty obvious what you want to do for this objective. You want to take control of the windmill, right? Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory there. Not really rocket science in my honest opinion. Um, just get on to the mill, right? You can kind of flood over the objective at times. What are you doing? What is this guy doing? All right, listen, man. There we go. So once you manage to get onto this objective, you need to get up into the mill. You can sometimes win by just flooding and using the mill as cover and taking out the enemies. But if the enemy team has even half a team worth of good players um, or even average players, they're going to be inside this mill. And this is just hell to take control of. You need to just throw grenades everywhere you can. They're going to be here. I mean, there's going to be so many angles that you have to clear as you go up this. And it is really difficult to take so just understand that you're going to need to flood on the point you're going to need a rally point you can build one right back there in that building um over there but it's it's hard to take this mill if you get the mill you know you're going to need at least a three 300 or so tickets uh normally speaking to take the objective against a decent team wow that was a very good shot so um those are all of the objectives Guys, um, you can see how far you spawn away, right? If you just look at this. Tanks can be decent on this objective. They're really bad on the third and fourth objective, but for this last objective, they can be pretty solid um, just shelling as much as you can on that objective, cutting off reinforcements right along this road is where you just want to drive um, along. Getting a tank up here can be very, very powerful. Now, let's take a look at defending as the Axis. All right, now for the Axis, we're going to go through this pretty quickly here, guys. Just like the Allies, tanks are almost always good on this objective. Um, or, well, it's a little different because the Allies kind of suck for tanks for the, the third and fourth objective. But for the Axis, tanks are almost always good. Um, you have so many hills that you just look down, you can mow down in infantry, and they can do basically nothing about it, right? You might get hit by a long-range Piet or something like that, but even then you just spawn as infantry and mow them down anyway. So the name of the game, though, for the Axis on these maps... Um, of course, just standard build rally points, build a rally point somewhere safe. But the name of the game is basically the exact opposite of the allies portion of this. So if you watch the allies portion, you're just going to do the exact opposite of what I was doing there and just counter all of that. Um, but really, the name of the game is the MGs, right? These MG42 nests. You want to hold them. You want to use them. Mow down as many of them as you can. One important thing is after you have used one, jump off of it. That's something I like to do, and I don't see very many people doing. Jump off of it and move to another one if you don't see more targets. Because if you're on it, the enemy team is going to be a lot more likely to start shooting at the MG and break it, which is something you do not want to happen. So jump off of it, move to a different one, right? There's so many MGs on this map that you could just move over to this one, right? I just mowed down that squad in a heartbeat, and then now we're over here. There's another guy. Take him out really easily, right? Just, just quickly mow down as many of these guys as you can, just all back to back to back to back very quickly and then now there's no more targets i'm gonna jump off i'm gonna move away um rally points standard rally points just build them as close as you can to the objective you're defending they're typically speaking not going to get blown up you know follow standard rally point guides for that um 
but yeah guys i mean holding these bunkers is pretty easily it's really just a game of keeping the enemy away because once these bunkers get breached and once they're inside it's very hard to retake them and they're also very easy to clear out so abuse the hell out of these mg42 nests that have no recoil and will annihilate enemies um i don't think that defending as the allies is something that is particular or defending the axis excuse me it's something that is particularly difficult to do i mean it's it's pretty self-explanatory you want to use your powerful giant machine gun nest to take out as many of the enemies as possible so um watch what i said for the allies guides and and make sure you guys counter that stuff and what was going on there there's a couple cheeky things that you can do here um of course spread out play aggressively you can always build some tank traps here which is always a very annoying thing to do um it's something that pisses personally me off a lot um because it's just very annoying to have to deal with and go around or jump out and dismantle them as a tank crew so that's always something that is uh particularly good to do now for these next two objectives um it's the same advice that i gave the allies players right hold these core areas for the axis this bunker is a good area to hold you can shoot at the enemies as they try to get onto this objective here where i'm standing right if you're standing here um you know you can just shoot in take out any enemies who are trying to get in uh, but for the most part what you need to hold is this objective here right you want to hold inside this building because you're going to be considered on the objective and you're also going to have ample cover you're going to be able to shoot out at enemies who are going to be running along this trench line here maybe some guys who are trying to to get up so on and so forth so holding that building is very important other than that if it's this objective here a couple different options you have you can hold from in here make sure that you have your ai sit inside this building not outside if you tell them to just defend the objective you know if you tell them to do this they will like to sit outside in the open and they will more than likely die so i like to have them stay inside either in this room in here or this room make sure that no allied players are going through this window here because this is a great way they like to run along this trench and jump in through here and then you will be in it for a very bad time because they will be able to wipe out all of your ai and have a very good position you can always hold from up in here as well if the enemy manages to breach in here this can be a good spot you can hold off the enemy while still being on the objective and having a little bit of cover but because this whole wall is gone here you can get blown up by um tanks or artillery or anything like that very very easily now barbed wire along this can be pretty good for all you engineer mains or maybe an mg42 nest or something like that tanks can also sit right here but you're in a pretty dangerous spot if this is the objective for tanks typically speaking you're going to want to be a little bit further back uh, maybe up on this hill looking down mowing people down as they try to run along that right side but tanks for that particular objective the second one here can be a little rough um, the second objective is not great for tanks for the axis generally speaking now for this third objective you want to hold this right side this bunker here make sure that someone is over there either a rally point to keep some spawns over there or just make sure if you're playing with a buddy you know say hey you hold there i'll hold the objective because if you lose this then the enemy is going to be able to have a secondary approach by moving up here and they're going to be just tossing nades in here raining hell down on you and it is going to be very very bad for all of you german players inside the bunker now the other important area to hold is this left side because they're going to want to run up here and then around the back just like this and then they're going to flood into the objective and you don't want that to happen so you want to play the hell uh <laughs> you're gonna want to play very aggressively keeping them off the objective there um keeping them as far away from you as possible again utilize those mg42s keep them back right they're gonna try to flank along this ridge line don't let them they're gonna try to flank along this ridge line don't let them you don't always have to be on the objective to be defending the objective but if the objective starts to fall then you need to kick it into you know overdrive and get to the objective because that means that you are going to very quickly lose the point if you don't because those objectives are very hard to take back once you lose them so just keep that in mind guys always be checking your map utilize the map see oh i don't have any enemy i don't have any allies on the left side that means it's either open or at worst the enemies have already taken it and they're currently flanking me right so keep an eye on that you know, if you see a bunch of blues on one flank don't go over there you've already hold that you already have that objective right you don't need to go over there now for this objective again it's the same as the allies you want to hold this nook here make sure no allied players are kind of being sneaky holding there and then right here right um, this building can also be really good because this is considered on the objective and you can just shoot in um, and it's very hard for the enemies to dislodge you from in here so i like to hold in here have your ai 
hold that because you're 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 guarded from this bunker and from all of this like no one's really going to be running up here and flanking you for the most part so you're pretty safe there now for this bunker it is probably the hardest objective you can burn a lot of tickets off the allies on this objective um just by that was the wrong door just by holding from inside the objective itself because there's so many angles you can hold here right you can hold here i can move over here i can hold you know, even like really close angle like this, right? They fall down and then I'm just mowing them down from here. Um, really, the big thing is don't let them flank around. Don't let them get in through this little window here. If there's some good player that watched the allies portion of this video and knows you can get through there, be careful of that. But for the most part, guys, enemy um, AI aren't going to fall down there. Uh, they're going to shoot you from up above and you're going to be fine. Um, sir, what are you doing? So you really just don't have to worry a whole lot about um, the enemy AI coming down from that way. Really what you need to worry about is an enemy player throwing a grenade down like that and then mowing you down after you all explode. So just be prepared. Um, you know, typically speaking, I like to have my AI hide back here where they're a little bit safer from grenades um, or even maybe hide back in this or even sometimes you can even have them play off the objective if you want to play the retake game where you just kind of sit off the objective and then if you die, you switch to your AI and then sprint in try to mow them down but that can be risky because that can be a hard fight to take a lot of the time so keep that in mind but that objective is really just play on the objective and defend the objective as best as you can now for this objective up here the final objective this can be a rough one um you want to hold here don't let the allies take this ground build a rally point here build one back that way constantly contest this open area here throw grenades bomb it with the bf 110 do anything that you can to not let the allies get a foothold in this area because this is a foothold that will let them propel themselves onto this objective and once they can get men onto this point it is only a matter of time before you lose that objective and you don't want to be in that position because it just becomes a bloodbath where both sides are just throwing bodies onto the point and you want to have the advantage in that situation by holding forward ground right so if the allies manage to take this area here you are going to be in rough shape so don't let them hold this area do not let them get a rally point here do not let them take ground and get a foothold in this little section here because it will be impossible for you to hold the objective if they have a decent amount of tickets left right if that does happen though consistently fight over it throw grenades throw explosive packs um, but really if you have to fight on this objective you want to hold this little room here but they're going to be jumping over right here they're going to be jumping over back there on that side and they're constantly going to be getting bodies onto the objective so hopefully that is not the objective you want this mill here this mill is the best thing for you you want to be able to get into this mill and you want to get as many ai up into the top of it as possible because they will make attacking this objective a living hell and just like the other objectives of course you want to get rallies down you want to protect those flanks well if you're up here this is such a hell objective for the enemy to attack because you can see down this way you get an mg you might be able to take some guys out here is a great one you can see down this way you can even if you're feeling good you can even just fire down on all these guys right they're just trying their best and you can just see all of them down below but the, really the thing is, is that you're on the objective and you can get a good squad up here six guys um, have a couple down here and the allies are going to have to walk up this with you raining grenades down on them and look at this look at this angle right here right if they come up this staircase look how many different angles you can have on them right you can be here on the stairs you can be here you can be over here you can be even right here shooting down at them and that's not a, that's all that floor you can be over here you can be all along in this you can even be down here they could come up you could drop down kill their ai and then kill them there are so many ways that you can hold this objective in this mill that makes attacking it just an absolute nightmare for the allied players it is unbelievably difficult to take from um, a good access team on that mill it will burn so many tickets so that is that for holding that objective guys and that is the entire map for the axis and for the allies so if you guys enjoyed the video as always like comment and subscribe i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts if you guys have any tips and tricks for attacking or defending on uh d-day if you guys have found anything that works um or if you have tried some of these tips and they don't and you find that they don't work and something else works right let me know in the comments down below i'd love to hear you guys thoughts remember you can always follow me twitch.tv slash hey quadro chat about me or uh, chat about this stuff with me excuse me um all the time over there and you can also join our community discord if you're looking for people to queue up with and execute these tactics so on and so forth love to see you guys over there but without anything else thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time take it easy